Guys, they're finally here. The biggest Ichiban Kuji of 2022. History of the film is a sequel to Back to the Film, the biggest Kuji of last year. Today, we're gonna be starting out with Super Saiyan Gohan and Super Saiyan Goten based on their appearance in Broly's Second Coming. I'm excited to see if these figures are gonna live up to the hype and if this set will be better than last year's controversial Ichiban Kuji. Let's check it out. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are going to be kicking off the newest Ichiban Kuji, the biggest one of the year probably, with Super Saiyan Gohan and Super Saiyan Goten. But like always guys, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a new video. I try to upload at least once a week. Like this video if you enjoy it and of course, Comment your thoughts down below in the comment section on these figures at the end of the review so we can have a discussion on it. Okay guys, we are here. We are finally doing history of the film. Um, I think back to the film uh, presented some of the, the more popular videos on my channel, some of the bigger reviews, some of the bigger figures of last year, 2021. We had Cooler, we had uh, uh, a Frieza, a God Vegeta, a lot of cool figures out of that set. Um, that I really love. In fact, a lot of them are in the shot right now, right above me. Um, but I was really excited for the set because it looks like they took a lot of what they learned from that set and tried to improve on it. Um, half the set isn't Broly anymore, um, and there's a, a, a I almost cursed. <laughs> uh, there's a ton of variety in this set with Gohan, Goten, uh, Turles, Janemba. Um, so I'm really excited, but before we get into the review guys, please like this video. If we can get this video to 250 likes before this Friday, I'll put the date right up here. Um, if we can get this video to 250 likes before this Friday, you guys crushed the last like goal. I'll upload the review for Beerus, the master release Beerus from this set this Friday. So please hit that like button, share this with a friend, and let's see if we can hit that goal. But without further ado, let's dive into the figures. We'll uh, go over the, 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 the background of the figure, what it's based on, some details on it, and of course, some size comparisons and a rating at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. These figures are based on Super Saiyan Gohan and Goten from the Dragon Ball Z film Broly's Second Coming. They're based on the iconic moment where the brothers fire a Kamehameha at Broly. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Banpresto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibancho versions released in limited quantity, if at all. The prizes vary from art boards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goten, Cooler, Metacooler, Turles, Super Janemba, Beerus, and legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This Kuji set was released in Japan on August 4th, 2022, and will not have an overseas release. There are no variations of these figures currently. You can find these on eBay or Facebook collecting groups for about $90 each. These figures are made of PVC and ABS. Gohan stands at just under 8 inches, and Gohan stands at just under 5 inches.
Gohan comes in four pieces. His upper body, lower body, belt sash, and support. Goten comes whole with his support. While these figures were not all that hyped up from collectors, I have to say that these are an incredible start to this set. Let's start with Gohan's likeness. It's perfect. I love the details from the gritting of his teeth to show how much effort he's putting forth, the determination in his eyes, and the scuff marks on his face from a touch of battle. Goten is perfect too. He has many of the same qualities as Gohan has in his likeness to really add those nice touches. Really happy to see no quality control issues on either of them there. Paint and shading between both are also perfect. I love the shade of yellow they chose for both Gohan and Goten's hair. It really makes them pop and reminds me of the back to the film Gogeta's hair. Gohan has noticeable shading all over his skin and pants. Goten has noticeable shading in his gi, shirt, and skin. Size and scaling are perfect for both of them too. Gohan and Goten are both a bit bigger than I thought they'd be. I'd say they scale well with almost any figure you put them with. Goten is obviously a bit small for a Masterly's figure, but it's Goten, so he should be this size. He's not puny, so I think this is a fair middle ground for him. Finally, both sculpts are spectacular. They did a great job of blowing their belt sashes and hair back from the force of their attacks. Also love the weight behind both figures as they aren't hollow at all, and the quality of their support adds another quality of life perk that I love to see. Overall, this is a great start to this Kuji. These were probably the figures I was looking forward to the least, but they still blew all of my expectations away. They're very high quality and a must-have for any collector. I'm giving both of these 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls.